So when you first look at this picture, you might think it's AI, and I don't blame you. It gives me John Malkovich vibes from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy with all of his tiny golden legs. But it's actually a male jacana, a group of birds that are characterized by male parental care. Let's talk about it. So there are eight species of jacana in the family Jaconidae, and while they're grouped with the wading birds, they actually don't do a lot of wading because they've evolved these extra long toes which distribute their weight across the aquatic vegetation at the surface, making it look like they walk on water, leading some people to refer to them as Jesus birds. And the really interesting thing about jacanas is that in all but one species, males provide all of the parental care. Females literally don't tend the eggs or the young at all. And in the seven species where males provide sole parental care, females are highly polyandrous, mating with multiple males producing multiple clutches that those males then take care of. For example, in the pheasant-tailed jacana, females are significantly larger than males and dominate them. In fact, a female will have a harem of males that follows her around, and she will mate with each one of them, producing a clutch that none of them know whether it's theirs or not, right? They don't know whether they're the father, and so they all kind of scramble to assist to take care of the offspring just in case they are. How brilliant is that? So this female will have five or six males kind of following her around, and she'll mate with several of them, produce a clutch, and then each of those males will essentially take care of those offspring because they might be his. And of course, the name of the game in evolution is taking care of those offspring so they can pass on your genes into the next generation. And in the cone-crested jacana, we find what's called sequential polyandry, where males have territories that they defend against other males, and a dominant female will walk herself through males' territories, assess them as potential mates if they're good enough, she will mate with them, lay a clutch of eggs in their territory, and then walk along to the next territory, leaving the male sole parental care. And if you haven't thought about parental care across the animal kingdom, you're missing out because animals have evolved ways to pass their genes on to the next generation and try to ensure that those offspring pass their genes on into the generation after that in such a myriad of ways, from zero parental care, just spraying eggs out there into the environment and wishing them the best, to literally sacrificing their lives so that their offspring might survive.